I pull out gut hooks, I look on GPS, I'm way far off trail. So like, what the f- <laughs> So it is about quarter to five in the morning. I woke up around four. Um, I'm about eight and a half miles from Salida. And I wanted to try to wake up really early to get up on this ridge to maybe catch the sunrise and to make it into Salida early. I may just Nero spend the night in Salida tonight and then start on that 100 mile adventure tomorrow. But uh, let's do some night hiking. <laughs> Back on trail, and I gotta fill up on water because there's no water for the next eight and a half miles. Ooh, that's cold. This is gonna be fun. Find my way through this maze. Sun's trying to come up. I still got about a mile and a half to get to this high point. Look at that moon. Look at that moon. Hey. There's the sun trying to come up. Woo! Ha! Ah, I'm getting up there now! Ah. Ah. Alright, so the moon's still up. Um, the sun is rising behind that mountain, unfortunately, but it's still a pretty epic view up here. Um, I had to, I, the second I stopped, I had to put my puppy on because it's freaking cold up here. But, uh, whoo, windy too. But, look at these views, man. Amazing. All right, I got four or five more passes to get over. Um, I wanna get down off this high point because I'm freezing. Whew. All right, put my puffy on when I got up there. I'm gonna get on the back side of this mountain and have to stop and take it off. Every freaking day. Never fails. A little over four miles out. <sighs> About halfway there. All right, we're in ski land now. Whew. <sighs> all right, so it seems like the walk all the way down to the road is gonna be on this dirt road. I guess this is Monarch Mountain Ski Resort. And I think this dirt road is going to take me all the way down to the road I need to hitch to get to Salida on. Alright, just turned off that ski road. And I'm slowly approaching the highway, I think. Alright, so the trail isn't marked very well at all through this freaking area. I pulled out gut hooks because I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm on the trail, right? This is a trail. Yeah, no, I pull out gut hooks, I look on GPS. I'm way far off trail. So like, what the f there's markers. I see bikes and footprints. I'm probably gonna get up here, realize this is the trail, and have to turn around and go all the way back. I'm sorry, I'm just pissed off. So, as I suspected, the, uh, this is the correct trail. A guy told me a way to take a shortcut walking uphill over that way, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I. Uh, I'm gonna stick to the actual trail. Might be a little longer, but I think it'll get me there. All right, and now I'm walking backwards once again because that guy gave me false information. This is not the CT. This is the Monarch Ridge Trail. I just found it on the map. So I do have to go back 
and I gotta figure out where the fuck I am because. All right, back on track. Ugh. I can see my destination. I took care of the first two things on my agenda, which were to use the bathroom and get myself some coffee. So third thing now is to try to get to Salida. What a day. Not bad, I got done like eight and a half miles before 9.30, I guess it was. Yeah, before like quarter after nine. So, it's a good start to the day. I gotta get into town, man. I got so much I have to do. I gotta get a new, um, like water vessel, new toothbrush, do laundry, get a shower if I can, resupply for like a five or six day stint. So much to do. And no traffic. But, Hopefully, I can catch a ride, man. All right, so I lucked out. I stood at the rest stop for like maybe 10 minutes at the most, and I didn't think anybody was ever gonna pick me up, and I was sitting there sipping on my coffee, and then Daniel and Fernanda picked me up here, and they're driving to Denver, and they're giving me a ride all the way to Salida. So, I'm super lucky. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> And about 10 minutes after I got out of their truck, I realized that the stupid little clip that clips my GoPro, my camera onto my backpack, had apparently come off. 